A little bit bigger, nice wrap steering wheel, uh, doubled in, but it's I need to have a different trim panel. Just like every car, it's not yet 100%, but it's 80% <laughs> on the way. So uh, let's go get this engine. You're excited about our trip? Yes. Can I put this down? <laughs> yeah, you can. This is going in a, do you know Mazda RX-8? Yeah, I know. It's going in Mazda RX-8. Oh, perfect. Oh, this one I do for now, alternator for you. Oh, yeah? Look, see? Very nice. Yeah. That's cool. Because the sunlight alternator, you know, you need to take it out in day. I don't like it to take it out in day. Only it's easy. For you. I appreciate it. Take a closer look here. Here's the engine. This is a 4.2 liter Maserati V8 that is made by Ferrari because Maserati doesn't make their own engine. So this is a Ferrari engine, um, which is based off the F136. So a Ferrari California intake will fit on this. And I think that's the route that we're going. But I mean, look at this thing. This thing is beautiful and so this is gonna go right in there but it's uh compared to an ls it's about the same size i would say um maybe it's a little bigger v for the heads but it's more or less the same size uh the only difference is this is dry sump so there's no oil pan there's no oil pump and I think it's there somewhere. So this is dry some system. So it's really good for race applications. And we're gonna make all that stuff work. So it's gonna be super cool. 
Um, what else we got here? Fortunately, we didn't get an ECU with it, but uh, we'll figure that out. We'll probably have to run standalone, but we'll we'll take a look at it one once we get closer. You can see the clutch here and the flywheel, pretty straightforward. And, and I'm super excited about this project. Hope you guys are too. Uh, this is gonna be a one of one again, uh, same as the uh, MR2 over there. So something a little bit different. I've never had a V8 before. This is gonna be my first ever experience with one. So of course we have to go a little bit outside the box for this solution. I'm just really excited to have this car done. Uh, this is going to be the SEMA 2022. And if you guys are excited, let me know. I'll post updates on Instagram as well as Facebook and other social media stuff. So I'll post links here and there. But really excited about this. And the truck runs and drives great. We still have a couple things to, uh, to work on. <clears throat> is the headlights. The ones that I ordered are... Uh, factory halogen or factory xenons so they don't really work that well uh, the wiring is a little bit different with the halogen model and I had to splice some things around it works but it doesn't really work so for the time being I have a light bar installed but yeah these these headlights will not work unfortunately without doing some more modification um, so uh, I did order some other headlights that we're gonna have to swap over other than that we have the guys from Payless Auto Glass coming to replace this on hopefully Monday. Uh, it's been delayed here because of you know what's going on in the world. So unfortunately we gotta wait for that. And after the windshield is replaced and then we have some new wheels, uh, this thing will pretty much be ready. I still have to spray the bed along this edge as well. So this whole thing is gonna get sprayed. And uh, oh, that headlight came out a little bit. So I gotta fix that. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. Here we can see how big the V8 actually is compared to the rotary. And again, rotary is pretty tiny. And the V8 here is not too big, I would say, lengthwise from the, uh, so from where the transmission would bolt up to all the way to the front here of the engine. It's 26 inches long. And I think this one's like 18 or something like that. 26 inches is perfect because it's exactly the space from the current transmission from right there all the way to right here to this bar so part of me wonders if we can even keep this radiator the way it is keep it stock uh, we're going to try to modify as little as possible but the um the diameter or i should say from side to side that engine is about 26 inches and a half like 26 and a half inches comfortably so the the ABS pump here is actually in the way. So we'll have to figure out a solution for that. But I think it's about 27 inches from, you know, side to side. So, I mean, it, it'll it fit. I just, depends on, I guess, how high the engine is. It doesn't have an oil pan, so it's not gonna go too low, which is nice. I'll have to figure out a solution for the um, oil reservoir, which part of me wants to put it up here and get rid of this washer fluid. Maybe put that uh, where the fenders is, where the fender is, or just put that in the front here somewhere. I'll have to create a, a solution for this one as well, but I think we can make uh, something and fit it right there. So we do have the guys over from Speed Gems coming to scan the engine and then the transmission that we'll be getting. The transmission we'll, that we'll be using is from a Nissan 350Z or a G35. Is the CD009 uh, 2005, 6, and 7. Um, if you get the older ones, it's fine. Same bolt pattern. It's just supposed to be a little bit weaker. So that's why we went, uh, you know, a 05 one. But I have the guys over from Speed Gems figuring that solution out. And then we'll be finishing up the rest, creating mounts, and starting on the wiring. And let's get this thing ripping. Thank you guys for watching. 
See you guys next episode.